What has your experience been like going crossing over from traditional TV news to being here at the DNC for the first time as a creator? It's also my first time as a creator-ish. I'm still like making the transition. Yes, I know. It's a different, it's, in some ways it's a lot the same. I covered, I was the chief White House correspondent for CNN. I co- I was at I think I've done six conventions for Legacy News. Um, In 2018, I decided to start this thing where I explained the news on Instagram. Nobody was doing it at the time. Video didn't exist on Instagram in that way. And I kind of like pioneered this thing that is like what everybody does now. And it's uh, awesome to just see how the campaign has embraced this, see how many creators are embracing the, the role they play as trusted messengers to an audience. There are a lot of creators here. There are a lot of people who are putting out messages about the election, about the Democratic campaign, about their platforms to millions of people. But who's fact checking them? I mean, that's part of our challenge in the current era. So one of the things, the good news is everybody has a platform. Everybody can get messages out. The challenging news is we don't have a system for verifying who's really trustworthy, um, who's an expert, and what's truthful. And the platforms definitely don't help. So part of it is find people, what I always say is find people you really do trust and follow the people they point you to. Listen, I worked at CNN for a long time, and when you work at CNN, you wake up and you have a story on air by 3 p.m. And so you just get her done. And that's part of what you got to do. It's consistency, it's dedication, it's caring. The thing that really makes the difference is when I, I'm sure you know this, when you connect with your audience and you start hearing back from them what they want, then you just feel compelled to give them more information to explain, right? And you just got to show up and keep doing it. Somebody asked me, like, they said, I want to make my first video for social media, but I'm so uncomfortable. What do you do? How do you do it? And I said, I made my first video and I didn't die. So I did it again. That's all. (laughs) Exactly. I mean, that's pretty good. It's just do it. Just do it. The Nike slogan. It's one of the best slogans of all time. And it's so simple. It's just do it. So on an even more serious note, so you were at CNN. I was at BBC. Both organizations went through massive cuts, are still going through massive cuts. Wow. The business model doesn't work for TV news, it seems, increasingly does it on social media? Are you finding that the economics in your business are working? I think that it's, yes, and there's evolution needed, right? Like, there's not, so I'm here as a creator, but I talk to the press team. People don't know, like, are you you a journalist or are you a creator? I'm like, I'm a journalist who does her work on social media and digital platforms. I'm a journalist creator, and they're like, ah! Okay, so so it's not just me. I've been saying that I feel... I feel homeless. Right. But that's because we're in this period of intense, rapid change. We're going through transformation. The business is fragmenting. Every time you find a new beachhead, you stay there for a minute and then the sands wash away and something. So changes. So we are rolling with the flow to some extent. And I think it's people need to figure out new forms and new structures and ways to do this that give people like us a home. So... On that note, I mean, we still have to do the journalism. It's in our blood. What are you seeing that is the most important story that TV news, newspapers are missing? In general, it's explaining the what. So it's not any what, like there's a million things we could talk about that are undercovered. But I think in the campaign cycle, I mean, it's almost all noise right now, right? To the point where I'm covering the noise too, right? It's what crazy thing did J.D. Vance say on a podcast years ago? What, you know, happened on the campaign trail that was kooky and charming? Like, it's a personality election. It's a vibes election. But people actually do want to know what's going to happen. How will the different candidates take care of me in different ways? And some of that is what I still think we all need to get at. Um, I don't know how much more meat will be on the bone before the end of the election. But for me, that's the big, you know, when I talk to undecided voters, that's their question. It's specifically what will X and so do on this issue. Um, So I think that's where, you know, it would be great to have more information. I don't know that we're going to have it. 